No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Do not give them your consent. Even though here we are in the year 2020, um, there are still uh, a lot of, um, you know, internal uh, biases and obstacles to women feeling that they can go as far as their hard work and talent will take them. And certainly, you know, persistent sexism and misogyny, the continuing uh, backlash against women going as far as their hard work and dreams will take them. Uh, we need to be as vigilant as ever in this 100th year of the 19th Amendment that gave American women the right to vote about how hard that struggle was and to continue to speak out and to organize in order to move the agenda for women's full participation and for their fair allocation of power uh, within every system, economic and political and cultural that there is. It's not just the protest, it's what we do with that energy that is generated by protest. We've knocked down a lot of the laws that used to stand in the way. I mean, when I was a young girl, I, there were schools I couldn't go to, jobs I couldn't apply for, scholarships I wasn't eligible for, all kinds of things that were literally in the law. Well, we've eliminated much of that, but here's what remains. What remains are cultural bias, social norms that whisper in your ear or sometimes yell in your face, you don't belong here. You know, this is for boys. We don't need you. Um, and that can be an incredibly lonely experience. I know that some people under so many circumstances face almost unimaginable barriers, uh, difficulties in their families, problems and challenges in their community, even their countries that make it hard for them to get the education that they want or to have the choices they are looking for. Just don't give up, don't give in. And having been in the public arena as a young girl, as a young adult, as an older woman, I know that there are lots of people who will criticize you and try to undermine your confidence. And one of my favorite Americans, Eleanor Roosevelt, uh, famously said, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Love Do that. not give them your consent. Stand up for yourself, look for ways that you can prove uh, first and foremost to yourself, but then to the others around you, uh, that you have a right. You have a right to be doing what you're doing. Who You have a right to be who you are. Uh, and you have a right to pursue uh, your own uh, future.